fine. Thanks to additional information from the colonists from Gasco and Helix, we've managed to identify several possible systems that could have planets for our colonization efforts. We'll need you to scan these systems, see if there's a suitable planet, and then explore said planet to confirm your findings. You're looking for what will be the future homeworld for the Romulans. We've also been told by Federation and Klingon officials that talks of an alliance could begin if we identify a suitable planet to colonize. Datan and I will be speaking with those officials while you're exploring. This could be the next big step in our fight for independence. Greetings. I have... Right, here we are up at the Gal uh, Galorian core system. Initiating scan, now. Preliminary reports are turning up negative, Captain. We could perform a more in-depth scan, but that could take nearly a week. Launching a satellite would allow us to monitor the area and move forward. Your orders? Let's launch the satellites. Let's continue forward. So, Gamma Eridan system is the next candidate for us to check. Satra, who was on the screen there, uh, is another uh, refugee. We picked her up from the Helix system, and um, she's serving as our, my science officer. Gamma Eridum. Uh, let's see what we find. Scanning the system. We can't get a clear reading from the planet that Tamir specified. Our best option will be to drop out of warp and investigate the area. Are you ready? Yes, drop us into a standard orbit. Nausicaan ships, dead ahead. They were jamming our sensors. That's why we couldn't get a clear reading on this area. It's an ambush. They're hailing us. Probably to gloat. Pirates like these only care about scrapping the ship for parts and selling any survivors to the Orions. Should I open the channel? Let's go for it. Open the channel. Romulans! Wonderful! It's been so long since I've had a chance to kill some of you green-blooded snakes! Now show some Garama and fight like you mean it! You'll still die, but my crew could use the sport! Kev, get a red alert. The looting of the. Uh... Oh, no. Nope. 
get a good price for yours. Even if it's in Picked up the loot. This looks as there's something over there still. Go and have a look at whatever that object is over there. Appear to be a sensor ghost, but my eyes tell me it's a satellite. Can't lock our sensors onto it. Okay, so well. If it's not Tall Shiar, it's the Nausicans. What's next? Iconians? We were able to get a few scans of the planet during combat. It's no good. The wildlife is too hostile and the natural resources too few. That leaves us with one last system the Dewa system. They want three show some promise. We can leave orbit whenever you're ready. Let's leave the system. system to check from our list There, the Dewa system is where we were asked to go to. Let's just make a couple of changes. Team, oh no. One more thing on the privacy search visible printer. Right, scanning we the system. We have confirmation of a suitable planet. I'm patching us through to Tamir now. I want an update on the situation. I'll connect you as soon as you're ready. Open a channel. Excellent work. You should head to Dewa 3 and set up some orbital probes, and then beam down and investigate the surface. I'll set a course to the Dewa system and keep an eye out for any more Nausicaans. Dewa 3 is one of our last chances to find a habitable planet in this region. Good luck. Understood. Yep, set across. Dewa 3. This could be the new Romulan homeworld. The radiation levels of this planet made it uninhabitable. But long-range surveys have detected drops in the toxicity over the past few years. Our orders are to deploy sensory probes to scan the planet. And, if they return positive, beam down for a closer look. Okay, understood. So we'll 
close in on the probe target location. Getting close, getting close, slowing down. Deploying the probe. Probe is away and deployed. We'll go scan the gas. Heading for beta location beta. Going the probe. Probe beta is away and operational. Else? I hope that's the last we've seen of them. The reports from the probes confirm that radiation levels have lowered on the planet. An away team without protective gear should be safe. There don't seem to be any civilizations down there either, but we'll have to beam down to explore the area further. Are you ready to transport? There are several teams that will beam down to other parts of the planet while we explore. Okay, beaming down. So, I think this is just about my entire crew, if I remember right. Yep, that is the entire crew that I have. And we'll go for it. And we're down. Wow. Look at this place. It's beautiful. Our orders from Tamer are to analyze the local wildlife, flora, and minerals, as well as any bit of radiation. Okay, let's move. Torvin and I were militia officers on uh, Veronaut, which is the local police force, if you like. Uh, Torvin is acting as my first officer. Don't want to be shooting at wildlife but it kind of looks dangerous Let's see if we can get around yeah Let's put them down here Water samples. Anything we seem to have got around the cats without triggering them. So 
They are being tagged as dangerous. Well, they might be dangerous, but they might not. They don't look as though they are aggressive. Something for us to look at behind, apparently. Oh no. no, it's a distance away. This character was created as part of the Delta recruit. Ooh. Uh, interesting uh, looking uh, creature. There's nothing in here. Got something here. This plant displays remarkable similarity to the plants once found on Romulus. Thank you. that noise from the cats anything over here take a water sample Again, they're being tagged as dangerous. The water is barely tainted by the planet's radiation. Anything? No, nothing. Let's see if we can sneak round without triggering these at wildlife. We seem to have managed it. Good something in here a mineral sample and some plant sample over here looks in it Another one of those funny creatures, Nano. These creatures are fascinating. They seem to absorb the radiation around them. Okay, that is uh, fairly uh, unique. could be the reason for the lowered radiation levels. This is Tamer. I've arrived at the outer rim of the planet. I'll be keeping a watch on any Tal Shiar or Nausicaan signals. How is the initial search going down there? Oh, um, Let's rave about it. This is... Uh, the planet is amazing. We can't believe what we're seeing. Truly. That is excellent news. We may just have our new home. I'll continue doing what I can from up here. Take your time down there and make sure nothing is overlooked. We can't have any doubt in declaring this our new home world. Understood. I say the Romulans are an emotional uh, race. It's the raving about it seemed to be the one that would make oh they got another ooh ok 
okay, are we going to have to deal with these cats or are we going to be able to survive? I don't want to be. I don't want to engage if I don't have to. I'm detecting ancient and dilapidated structures nearby. Really? Structures? Wonder what sort of structures. So. Minerals as well, eh? over around here well we have some more of those cats in here Let's see if we can sneak round again unfortunately to engage. That's sad. Gathering plants. Uh, oh, we got something in here. More mineral samples. Plants. We have some more cats. This fern seems to be resistant to the ambient radiation on this planet. It could be useful in treating radiation sickness. Let's back up and go around the other way. Seeing anything else in there. Right, we do seem to have a little bay in here. Let's go and check that. We've been requested to do a thorough job, so it would appear to be barren of anything interesting mineral sample here anything over here more of those cats more of those cats there too got something over here
Let's see if we can sneak round again. That one's not going to be possible. I think we've managed that one. Check out this all. That's sad. What have we got down here? Not seeing anything of significance. Thing over here. Do you like the glowing plants? Oh, some more minerals to sample. Catching that. Round we go. Hello, how are you? Epic Nina, Nina, you're free, are you? Are you a uh, Star Trek? online player There's not a lot over here so we'll go in the direction that we're being told I say hopefully we can oh, avoid too many encounters with the cats don't want to kill the cats we should investigate that old bridge nearby when we're done with our scans that is certainly true in the bridge. What's that? Tholians. What are they doing here? Tholians. Just what we needed. Tholians are known for not caring very much about us humanoids. I don't think they even know the difference between a Romulan and a Reman. 
detecting any more Tholian ships in orbit, but with our luck, that'll change. We should see what those Tholians are after. If this is going to be our planet, they can't take it from us. Right, let's go. Okay. So... Go and see what these Tholians are up to. on of doing a runner something spooked them we'll seem to think it's this. Down should help us defend. More on the way, sir. Why are they so interested in this site? No idea. We'll find out once we have a second. group inbound, and it looks like they're sending one of their commanders. Get the little ones first. see what this is first. This is old. Really old. I will need to have it analyzed to be sure, but this might be from when the Iconians ruled this space more than 200,000 years ago. We need to study this planet much more carefully. Who knows what else from the Iconians we might find. Okay. And See what the plasma does to the rocks. There appears to be a sword fossilized in this accretion layer. I'm trying to scan it now. Wait, this is incredible! There's definitely a blade here, and its composition and size match those of Vulcan blades from about 1900 years ago. There were there are only a few examples of those weapons left. 
Most of them were destroyed during the time of awakening. Let's open a channel to Tamar and tell him about our findings and the Tholians. Greetings. What have you found? Hmm. Interesting. The sword could prove to be something unbelievable. Maybe even something made by Saharian. I'm concerned about the Tholians, and I'm beginning a full scan for any of their ships in orbit. Who is Sh Sh Saharian? Saharian was the greatest Vulcan weaponsmith who ever lived. He loved war, and created marvelous swords for the greatest warriors. After talking to Surak, however, he renounced all violence and never made another blade. Three of his swords were taken by our people when they left Vulcan. Two were lost during the journey, and the third, as far as we know, it was lost with the homeworld. But if there's a sword from Saharian's era here, and other signs of habitation, this could be the Sword of the Raptor Star, one of the missing swords. There was an expedition out in this region looking for it a few decades ago, but as far as I know, they never found anything. Maybe we've succeeded where they failed. Do you think this could be the Sword of the Raptor Star? Anything is possible, but it will take a very long time to confirm if this is true or not. This could simply just be an old sword from a past civilization that lived here and nothing more. Regardless, I would prefer to hold out hope that this is somehow tied to us. Perhaps it is my pride simply getting in the way. Understood. Should we contact Ditan about this? Yes, we should. Hold on! We're under attack! It's the Tholians! Go to red alert. All hands, prepare for battle. Tamar, how are many are there? Tamar has closed the channel, sir. I'll have the geode and blade transported to the science lab on board the ship. We should return as soon as possible. Tamar will need our help. Absolutely. Beam to the ship. We managed to take out a few Tholian ships, but now we're trapped within one of their webs. There are more Tholians on the way. You've got to take out the nearby Tholians to get us out of here. Understood. Our uh, W is still uh, hands. However, I'm picking up a large Tholian ship leaving warp. Get ready. They have some of the most advanced technology in the quadrant, and they never back down. We'll need to work together to survive. Okay, we're ready to mount. Tractor beam. to affect it, but not sufficient. Beginning to really get it. Hey, oh, that hurt. Get some repair work done. Uh, 
hopefully. I did it. Got a little bit of damage, but we survived. Excellent work. Hopefully the Tholians will stay away. What did you find? Is it possible for us to colonize the planet? Explain our findings. Ooh. Seem to have jumped before I was ready. So what did he say? Um, right, so we explained um, why the elements are inhabitable, a habitable planet in one of the Sheridan's lost blade. That should mean only uh, that should mean that this planet must be one of the worlds our ancestors visited after the Sundering. I knew that their path could have not taken them into this area, but I'd never... Well, I'll have to speak to Mirret. She's always had an interest in our history. You should go to the flotilla and speak to Titan. He will want to know everything you have found. Return to the, uh, the, the case, so that's our instructions. Beamed out, or well, not beamed out, we've walked out and now we're on our way to the flotilla. Yeah, I was hoping my shields were close enough there, but find the turn in we go There he is, the man himself, the Tan. Jolan True, you found something incredible. This will be the new home of the Romulan Republic. It will be Mole Rehan, new Romulus, and we will create a new way of life there. This is exactly what we needed to begin talks with the Klingons and the Federation at Kittimer. Unless you have any more questions, I would report it to Mayor. I have many preparations to make. How does this impact the Federation in Klingons? We will need allies to help with the colonization. It's likely that the Federation will be willing to help with this. We also cannot settle on New Romulus without the goodwill of the Klingons, given how close we are to their space. If they would be willing to lend us a small portion of their military might, we would be safer from the Tal Shiar. After that, if Empress Sela continues her attacks, she will be doing it against a new civilization, not a band of rebels. That will make all the difference. That certainly should. Can you confirm the identity of the sword we found? We don't know yet, but we do know it is as old as the Sundering and uses materials like those of the Vulcan Swordmasters, so that narrows it down a bit. The Sundering tore our people apart but it also unified the Romulans under a common cause, the preservation of our emotions and our freedom. If this is truly the sword of the Raptor Star, it could help to once again unify the Romulans under the cause of preserving the freedoms we hold dear. Okay, understood. I'll go talk to Tamar about the next step. Good work. I knew you were the right person for this job. It will take us a long time to analyze the sword you found. 
We have to be very careful with something like this. But even the possibility of finding the sword of the Raptor Star has given everyone on the flotilla hope for the future. Your role isn't done yet, however. Datan and I both want you to be with us for our next task. Meeting with the Federation, Klingons, and Empress Sela on Kittimer to talk about peace and the colonization of New Romulus. Okay, is there any choices? Yes, there is. Plasma beam bank or plasma dual cannon? Um, let's go with dual cannon. Greetings. 